What's up, Gemini Libra Curious? I'm here to do a general energy reading for you guys. See what you need to know at this time, my air signs. What's the energy for air signs, spirit? What do they need to know at this time? What's going on in my um, air signs life? What's going on in their life? How they living? What's going on? What's up? What it is? Oh, what's up? Can I? Just keep in touch. You can be listening to a lot of old school songs here. We got Cried Out Release. Child, you can be listening to songs crying. I feel you, baby girl. I feel you. Don't eat too much ice cream, though. Don't eat too much ice cream. <laughs> yeah, but you're going to be smiling when you get done. This is healing. It is, it's very healing to cry because you are releasing energies that don't need to be there. First you cry, then you smile, baby. Pick your head back up. Change is coming. I just seen it. So there's some type of change coming in in your life right now. I want you to say something to me with Leo child. Go watch Leo reading because this was literally in Leo reading both of these cards. Not a little, not a fire sign reading child. Go watch Fire Sign Reading. It might be significant for you. <laughs> you might be dealing with a Leo here. They want you to come and speak to them. Someone could like broke your heart or something. Let's get some more here for my air signs. We got Empress. Hmm. You could be pregnant here. Man, look at that Libra. You can specifically be a Libra. I mean, of course, I'm doing Libra reading, you know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. My phone on 10%, child. Let me go get the charger for my phone. Okay, you guys. But, yeah, like I was saying, you could be specifically a Libra here with this Empress and Libra. But I, I am doing Libra reading, though. <laughs> Okay, okay, you guys, let's keep going. Let's get some more here. We got relax. Someone's gonna have a good cry and really be able to relax. This cry gonna like push you to sleep. If there's something that you're needing to release here. God, they misunderstood you, it just fell. One more. What's going on for air signs? 11, 11. You could be seeing this number. And look what's right here, child. Change is coming. Say thank you. Spirit say some type of change is coming here. We got Angel right here. Hmm. Some type of big change is coming in for someone. For a couple of you. Okay. I'm loving it, air signs. I'm loving it. So let's tap into the energy a little bit more here. Let's clarify for my air signs here, Spirit. Thank you. Clarify this cry out release. We got the Knight of Cups. One more. Ace of Pentacles. You're about to be given something. You could have already had this moment where you release some type of energy from you. Of something, some type of big event that happened in your life. Could have been big, could have been small. But now you're about to receive something here so you can move forward. What's this Knight of Cups? And it could have had something that affected like um like your dreams. Somebody could like put your dreams down or something. Yeah, six of cups. You could have had your dreams put down when you were a child. This could have been like something your dreams could have got put down by a parent of yours or something. And this could have really devastated you. And you might have released this person and really cried about it. What's the ace of pentacles? 
Yeah, something that you always wanted to do as a kid, you getting ready to do it. We got the Ace of Wands, but it's in reverse. Why is the Ace of Wands in reverse? If someone could have had a parent here that passed away. A parent that you did not get along with. And I feel like you probably cried about this situation. But at the same time, like, you're trying to move forward and, like, chase some type of dream here that you've always been interested in with the Seven of Cups at the bottom of the deck. The Knight of Wands is in reverse. Knight of Wands, Ace of Wands, both in reverse. But you're not feeling that energy here, though. You Someone has a loss of passion here, or you did have a loss of passion for some type of, you know, dream here that you always wanted to do. Something that you've always wanted to do since you were a child. And it probably like kind of came back to you during a time where you lost a parent here. You didn't have to lose a parent. <laughs> Excuse me. Confirmation. You could just went no contact. Yeah, I thought like there is a need for you like to slow down here and just Think about something that you've been through to properly heal from it. What's the Six of Cups here with the uh, Knight of Cups? Let me get one more for this. Ten of Cups. Something to do with family. Something to do when you were a kid here. It is something to do with your family. We got the Emperor with the Star. Could have something to do with your father in specific. Could be a mom here too, especially if she was like a... Um, you know, a single mom or just a mom and a lot of masculine energy. So she wasn't really that nurturing. What's the what's this smile? I see the seven of cups. Even though I hurt see your smile. Even though I've been there for a while. Hmm. I'm not too sure if that demon car flipped over or not because it's the it looked the same on both sides. So I'd rather for that card to come out. <laughs> Clarify this smile. But it could definitely have something to do with like someone pretending to be okay, but they really not type of situation. We got the chariot just came out. One more. With the five of cups. Yeah, somebody could have definitely passed away here. Like, I'm getting, like, a friend over here. Damn, the Ten of Swords. Oh, my goodness. Somebody could have passed away. Because I'm getting, like, a body, like, in a, um, being carried away. And this looks like someone that's very upset, crying. After some type of major change. That's Scorpio energy. What's the chariot? Then I see the Ten of Swords. We got the sun. There's also you me, like, willpower. Picking your head back up after the tragic event here in your life. You're picking your head back up. You're smiling again. Yeah. Moving forward. With happiness, though. Like someone's getting their joy back. What's this five of cups? This is you picking your head back up. Look at that with the star. Yeah. And someone is getting all the energy back. We got the queen of swords with the three of swords, seven of wands. This is you, I feel like. You're going through like a breakthrough here. Someone is on their own ass about healing. Like no more excuses. No more taking other people's bull with the seven of wands right behind it. Someone is not taking crap from nobody, not even themselves. No more pity party for you. You are healing and moving forward. And some people make fun of you for crying as a form of healing and things like that. But I feel like you don't mind. Oh my goodness, you have very beautiful energy here. Someone has a very beautiful energy. Clarify this, Empress. You got the two of cups. You could be coming some type of union here with the Ten of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune with the Temperance. Ooh. One more for the Empress. 
I keep hearing a lot of old school songs. Yeah, with the Empress. Somebody's coming to some type of union here. What's the Empress? I mean, child. Empress. Oh, my goodness. Somebody coming into union. What's this Two of Cups? With the Ten of Pentacles again. Three of Swords. But first, you had to heal. You had to heal from something. You are definitely on the right path. 1111 is right up under Empress. You are on the right path here. Don't don't question if you're on the right path right now or not, because you are. Especially if this is resonating. What's the emperor? Child, we got the emperor to the empress. <laughs> we got the death. This emperor like went through some type of breakthrough, some type of uh, transformation here. I feel like both of you went through a transformation separately. What's the emperor with the death card? So there could have been some type of breakup here between you and this person too. This could definitely be somebody from your past. Somebody you possibly had a family with. Oh yeah, we got the seven of wands. Yeah, like someone here. Oh my goodness. This could also be a situation where you, you cried about the release of someone that you really wanted to be with. And this person is coming back after both of you have to have healed. It could be that too. What's this three of swords here with the two of cups? Cause that's like that's a breakup. That's a breakup. With the page of swords here and the devil in reverse. So yeah, somebody has some type of uh, ego death. At first, somebody was real childish here. Like a know-it-all type of energy. What's the double in reverse? Queen of Wands. The Queen of Cups almost fell out. Drop dead gorgeous. Very beautiful. Heavy Leo energy out here. I remember earlier Leo card had showed his face. You can have Leo in your chart somewhere. Heavy Leo energy out here. Queen of Wands with the Sun and the Seven of Wands. Yeah, somebody in love. You just Queen of Wands, Empress energy. Both of you have went through some type of ego death. Clarify this, relax. Queen of Swords, yeah. You ain't playing no games with yourself. One more. No games. It's time to heal is what you're telling yourself. Eight of Pentacles with the Nine of Swords. It's time to heal. You're doing the work even when it don't look pretty. And this is you crying, but you're doing the work. You're doing the work. Let's get it done. Like, it's not like pep talking to yourself. You can even have like a mentor here or something. Somebody's like literally pep talking themselves. What's this Queen of Swords to heal? So you can get out of any uns any stuck situation that you might find yourself to be in with the Ten of Pentacles. And you do have the help of your ancestors. Somebody's stability about to change here. Two of Swords, Eight of Swords. Yeah, somebody's doing a lot of deep healing. Even from the things that you couldn't see here. And I'm telling you, your ancestors got your back. What's this nine of swords, eight of pentacles? With the magician, your willpower. Let's get it done. I have everything I need here to move forward, to push through this. To push through those moments where I don't want to get out of bed. And maybe you need to lay there for a little while longer. But just don't stay there forever, drowning in your pity. But it's okay to feel the emotions in the moment. Just make sure you release it. And I feel like that's exactly what you're doing here. Clarify they misunderstood you. Somebody that misunderstood you. Look at that. Eight of Swords with the uh, higher friend coming out. With the King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. We already had the Queen of Wands to come out here. King of Wands, Ten of Swords, Child with the fucking Empress. This King of Swords and this King of Wands energy is this Emperor over here. This person is thinking about how they betrayed you. Somebody here betrayed you. Somebody that you made very happy. They're thinking about the loss of you. 
Somebody want a whole family with you, a whole foundation. Somebody here is crying over you. One minute they cry, the next minute they smiling because they're thinking about how happy you made them and what things would be like if they could have a second chance. Give me one more. Now, someone smiles at the thought of uh, having a second chance with you. But with this Eight of Swords, they're not too sure if it's going to happen. They stuck in their head about it because you walked away with the Eight of Cups. Someone feels like when they come towards you, you're going to walk away from them. But they feel like you walked away from them for good already with the Page of Wands. What's this higher from here with the uh, Eight of Swords? But someone like, can you once again, someone sees a, a deep connection with you. We got the, the Hermit. 18, uh, I just seen 18, 18 on the clock. Yeah, somebody's watching you from afar, too. You could be in a public spotlight here as well with that star coming out here. What's this Eight of Cups? Like, somebody's wondering, like, what's going to happen if they approach you with the Six of Wands, but they are feeling very victorious. Somebody feel like you left them... And you went straight on your high horse here. You walked straight into success after you left them. That's exactly how this person is feeling. Clarify 1111. I think 1111 is like a twin flame number. Child, the, Ace of, child, the Empress. The Ace of Cups almost came out. Oh my goodness. Ooh, wee, you on the right path. One more for this 1111. You are on the right path. 19, 19 on the clock. Queen of Cups. Empress with the Queen of Cups. What's the Empress? Four of Swords. You healing. Oh my goodness. Like someone here is in a receiving energy. Relaxing. Oh, not overthinking. You could also be saying 444 a lot. What's the Queen of Cups? Oh my goodness. King of Cups. Someone is in alignment with the Knight of Pentacles. Some type of offer is slowly about to come in here. King of Cups with the Six of Swords. Somebody about to come towards you. For some of you, this is a person from your past. And for some of you, this is a new person. So someone is in alignment for some type of partnership here. Let's see here. Let's get an outcome, though, for you, air signs. What's the outcome here for my air sign spirit? Thank you so much. What's the outcome? Oh, shit. Pedophile almost came out. Oh, my goodness. Well, it kind of did come out. You could have definitely been through one of those type of situations here. Someone's, like, healing from a very traumatic situation that happened to them as a kid. What's the outcome here for my air sign specifically, Spirit? Yeah, I just seen Deadbeat almost came out. Auntie with drugs. Somebody auntie could be on drugs or something. Somebody could have got a bruise from my auntie that was on drugs when they were younger. I don't want I just want one card to come out. Let me get one card here, Spirit, for my air signs. Thank you. How did I was just saying? We got consequences. With their turn now. Like, somebody went through something very devious here. That they're healing from. When they were younger. Clarify these consequences. Somebody's learning that there's, that there's always consequences to your actions. Because somebody took some type of action here with the Knight of Swords that they are not regretting with the world because it caused an ending. It caused a cycle with you to end. What's the world? Two of Wands in reverse. This person don't, is not sure if they can come towards you or not with the world in his hand. Somebody got the whole world in their hand and they want to give it to you. <laughs> With the Ace of Swords. Yeah, somebody wants to, like, tell you something. How they truly feel about you. 
what they feel like it's over with. What's the world here with the uh, two of wands? They feel like this, but I really find this person going to take this action anyway. Maybe just not right now. Child, a demon card came out with the two of swords. Yeah, maybe somebody is blocking coming towards you. This person is dealing with too much. Someone's facing their inner demons here. Someone's dealing with a lot with the seven of swords at the bottom. Someone here is dealing with a lot. Now ain't the right time. What was this demon card specifically? King of Wands. This, this person is facing his inner demons right now. It is not time. What's the King of Wands with this demon card? Page of Wands. This person has to free themselves from some type of illusion they under or something. What's this Two of Swords? They have to heal from their lower vices. With the Three of Cups. What's this Three of Cups, Two of Swords? It can even be like friends like blocking this person from coming towards you. With the set illusions. This person is under some type of illusion from the individuals around them. They ain't doing nothing but backstabbing them. King of Cups, Ten of Wands, with the Ten of Swords. This person has people around them that they celebrate with that's trying to keep them blocked from moving forward in life. Keeping them stuck in low vibrational energy and things. Yes, yeah, so that's they dealing with right now. Or this could be some type of consequence of the action here that they took for something that they did to you due to them being unhealed or whatever happened to them in their childhood and just different things throughout life. But you're on the right path. Either way it go, if it, whether it's this person or a new person, baby, you got somebody coming in, okay? And if it's this person, you best believe he's going to come back as a more healed version of himself. But it might not be now, so keep dating. You know, don't wait on nobody. I don't care if it's a twin flame or not. Keep dating, baby. Because everybody ain't meant to come to a union with a twin. So keep dating. But that's what I have for you guys, air signs. I really hope you guys enjoyed the message. And I'll see you in the next video. I say, mwah.